Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q4 of the bi weekly contest 80 count supper race with score less than K. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prom. So, this one I actually was able to get very quickly, um, but I did have a wrong answer, which we'll go over in, in a sec. So, it made me sad, but I did get the idea quickly. Um, and some of it may be because this week's uh, leak code. Uh, daily challenge was on sliding windows and sliding windows is way is, is basically this problem uh, kind of I say sliding windows but I think that there's another way to think about it um, and we'll go over it in a sec but the idea here is that let's say you're given an array <coughs> oops spoiler alert <laughs> Um, but the code is short but the understanding is the hard part anyway the idea here for me is going okay uh, for for each for each number, how many sub array and how many uh, valid is it sub array is ends with this number, right? So for two, this is just one number is two, and it's two times one you could get it. And then one, we we try to figure out okay for the number one. Um, well, there's two one and one, right? So then the idea is that if you look at this function that they give you which is the sum times the, the number. Um, this number, and given that the, all the numbers are positive, it is monotonically um, decreasing, right? So there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can do this with prefix sum and binary search as well. Um, but the idea is that because, and this makes sense, right? The more numbers you have, the bigger the, your, your thing is, and you're trying to get something that's less than, um, less than, less than k, right? Strictly. So basically, you can do a binary search here, but then you can also think about it as, okay, you have this left side. If I shrink it by one digit, is it good enough? Because you know that all the smaller numbers uh, are good, right? And what I mean by that is, for example, um, mm, sorry, I'm just trying to look at it. But Let's say, let's say, you know, let's say K is equal to 100, just for example, right? Let's say we have 4. If we know that 2, 1, and 4, uh, if we know that 2, 1, and 4 is a right answer because this is just 7 times 3, which is 21, um, that means that we implies 1 and 4 is a solution, and 4 is also a solution, right? So that's basically the idea, and once you have, once you get that, then you can do the sliding window because then now you're just shrinking it from the left until you're good, and then that becomes the number of added subarrays. Um, yeah, and like I said, you can also do this with binary search if you if you construct it a little bit differently, and it'll be n log n obviously in that case. But here, this is just linear time and constant space. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, so while this condition, while the 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 function is too big, we shrink it and then and then at the end we just count the number of valid subarrays and add it and then that's it. Um, cool. Like I said, linear time, constant space because remember, uh, even though this is a while loop here, left can only be incremented n times. So that means that this is this can only be in total incremented n times and that's amortized uh, across. So I, I actually mostly written this in about three minutes. I end up doing it in about seven minutes with a wrong answer. And I I think to be and this is where, you know, having a good solid sleep and mental state is, is important. For me, to be honest, I think so Q3 was tricky for me for reasons that you can check out in, on that video. Um, I explained it in detail. But because that one frustrated me so much and I didn't have enough sleep that I rushed through this one and I didn't really test this one enough. Um, what happened was that I had this, so it was subtracting the wrong number and I was just rushing it for some bit. Uh, once I, and I had to add a lot of debugging to fix it. Once I added debugging, I'm like, oh, it's subtracting the wrong number. I just have to alt so I just have to fix the order and then and then that's it. And amusingly during the uh during the week of daily um videos, I do talk about being clear about being inclusive and exclusive on the bounds. And here clearly I did not and I rushed it and it cost me uh five minutes on the penalty and also three additional minutes on the the debugging. So uh so yeah. Um that's pretty much all I have. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think, and you could watch me solve a live in the contest now.
Let me skip ahead. I've spent too much time on this. All right. We already got this one. I am so bad today. Chef just went to stay asleep. This one seems easy. Uh. This one. Oh wait, then I oh, know this one. Wait. I don't know how to do this. Oh man, I'm, I guess I watched this one. Maybe I need pencil and paper on this one. This number. Here because I'm in Uber. Uh, okay, so five is one, two is seven times two. Yep, so that's two, that's six plus six. Okay, so why is it 13 then? Hmm. Right doing this one. Let's see. I'm missing a, an array somewhere. There's no empty array, right? Yeah. It's this one. It's two. Five twenty two, okay. Six eight 
16 times 3 is 9, or 3 is 5. 8 now, 8 is good. 14 times 2 is 28, that's good. 16 times 3 is 48, okay, why? Why is this only 2 then? Hmm. Um, hmm. Slow down to sixteen times three. Okay. Can't even get the easy palm right today. Uh, maybe I should just stay asleep. Mm, okay. Then to the math one, 14, 16. Eh? What do I have this total here? 19? Huh? 21, 14, 16, 21 is fine. Hmm, this is subtracting the wrong left. Oh, I am an idiot. Uh, I watched this one. I need, I, I. Uh, I think I'm, I'm just tilted by uh, Q3. That's why. such a easy thing to watch I'm still wrong but today is just one of those days where I'm really yikes still don't know how to do this one though hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think about today's contest uh I'll see you later and uh worst contest ever for me but anyway bye bye